What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a simple and cute illustration of a chihuahua. For today's lesson, we'll need some plain white paper and a pencil. I'll start today's drawing off with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Now the best way to begin this drawing is to break this down with the basic shapes first before we get into the details. So let's start by sketching a line coming down the center. We're gonna start at the very top in the middle. It's gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom of our page. Let's go back to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So start with the left side and then stretch that across towards the right. Now the head of a chihuahua is essentially a circle. So we're gonna use these two lines to help us create that circle in the center. So from that center point, let's move up, mark off the top of our circle right about there. Now I'm gonna measure this distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. And then we'll repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the top to the center over towards the left and then the right. Now I'm going to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. So let's start with the top left, and the circle doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. And I'll just go back and just smooth this out. Now I want to split each side of our circle in half. So find that center point right about here. Let's do the same thing on the right. Draw a straight line going all the way up towards the top and bottom. Now the chihuahua's eyes are set wide apart. So we're gonna start from this point, we're gonna draw a circle going out. Go up, leave a small gap along the side of our circle, and then bring that back in. Do the same thing on the right. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. I wanna block this in, get the right size. Now from the inside, we're gonna add a point. Coming down with an angle line, towards that center line, and then come back out. Now from these two points, we're just gonna bend this down and out towards the side of the muzzle, round up the side, and just pull that back in towards the bottom of our circle. Let's find the halfway point between the center line and the bottom of our circle right about here. Just gonna mark this off. Now I wanna surround that mark with a larger circle for the nose, going all the way around. Let's go to the bottom of the nose. We're gonna leave a small gap above the mouth. Just gonna curl this down and then out towards the bottom of that line. And then going back to the left side, we're just gonna pull the chin coming down a little bit further and then back up. Now that we have the basic shape of the face, let's move up and draw in those ears. We're gonna to go to the top of this line. It's gonna bend the ear going up and then out to right about there. Go to the right side. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going up towards the same height. Now we can use the guideline to just line this up if we need. Let's go back to the left side, come straight down. Now at the bottom, we're just gonna bend this in towards the side of the head, towards the left side of that line. Let's finish off our rough sketch with the neck. We're gonna start over on the left, come straight down, and then bend that in. Line that up on the right. Go back up and just draw in the back, going out and down. Now with a rough sketch in place, let's go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. Now I'm gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to help us layer on some more details and refine the shapes. Now I'd like to start with the eyes. Let's start from the outside. I'm just gonna draw in the upper eyelid, coming across and then down towards the inside. And then the inside edge of the iris is gonna go around. So we're pushing the iris out. Let's go back to the outside and just tuck this in underneath. I'm just gonna darken up the bottom of the eyelid and pull that up. Now in the center, I'm just gonna lightly sketch out a small circle in the pupil. I'm just putting this right in the center. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Just add some shape to the nose. Just gonna pull this down in the center along the top. Add two small ovals on either side for the nostrils. Now 
just gonna lightly sketch in some lines inside the face. A little patch along the top and the middle. Now we're gonna add a fold along the bottom of the eyes. Just pulling this in. Now let's round out the tip of the ears. I'm just gonna take out that sharp point. Just add a few little bumps along the outside. Let's do one more final cleanup before we get into the details and contrast. Now I'm gonna to switch to my 0.9 millimeter pencil and start adding some more detail and contrast. So I start by adding a highlight rectangle on the top right side of the pupil. And then going back and just darkening up the outside edge. Now let's darken up the center of the pupil going around that highlight. That highlight doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. It actually looks better if it's a little bit misshaped, a little bit more natural. Now I'm just gonna work our way around the eyelid, adding a little bit of thickness on the outside. And across the bottom. Just pull a little bit of fur texture going out. And now we're just gonna add a light shade along the top of the iris and just fade that down towards a highlight, towards a reflection. Just going to the outside of the eye, I'm just gonna pull that fur texture going down. Darken up the bottom of the nose and fade that up. Now along the top edge of the mouth, we're just gonna add a fur texture Pulling this in towards the nose, and then going out towards the muzzle. Now 
Put it on the chin. Now with the fur along the cheeks, we're gonna start from the outside. Just gonna darken this up and just feed that in. Blending that down towards the neck. And we'll blend that in towards the ear. And then with the ears, we're just gonna pull a little bit of fur along the outside, starting from the top of the head and just working our way out. And as we get out to the tip of the ear, we're just gonna smooth this out, wrap the fur coming down. Now I'm going to move to the side edge of my 2mm pencil and add some tones. So we start by darkening up the edge of the ears and just feathering that in. So I have a soft little trim around the ears and just pulling that down towards the inside. Just add a little bit of texture along the inside with that fold. Have a little bit of soft texture and shading along the inside of the head. Just going up above the eyes and then just brushing that out. And I can also add a light tone along the top half of the head. And we can go back in and add a little bit of fur texture along the inside of the head. Just working our way around the shadows and highlight areas.
Now, as we wrap up our drawing, I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail and shadows and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a chihuahua. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.